Hey everyone! So, one of the most important things to me is to always be able to meet the fans. I absolutely love it. It's one of the reasons why I still have a career is that I've got loyal fans who have followed my career for a long time now. And I had the opportunity this year to go to Comic-Con for Robot Chicken and to Longmire Days. Now, something happened that was unforeseen and both of these events happened to fall on the same weekend. The same weekend. The same four day weekend. So, I had a choice to make. I didn't want to sacrifice any bit of meeting the fans, so I chose to go to Comic-Con for two days and straight to Longmire Days for two days. If you guys don't know what Comic-Con is, you live under a rock. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Comic-Con in San Diego is one of the original Comic-Cons. It is massive. It takes over San Diego for four days. This is such a juggernaut of an event. Hundreds of thousands of people go to this event and it gets crazy. Now, for those of you that don't know what Longmire Days is, it is basically San Diego Comic-Con on a smaller scale, but in the town of Buffalo, Wyoming, and it's all about Longmire. The fans of Longmire have gone to this town for many years now to celebrate the books, the book's author, and the show, and the actors and the writers that have helped create this show that they love. It means a lot to the fans that the actors show up. I wanted to go. I haven't been able to go for about three years and every one of these Longmire days that go by feels like it might be the last one. I don't know. The show's not on the air anymore. So at some point, maybe people will lose interest. I don't know, but it felt very important for me to participate in that event. Day one. I finished doing an interview. My boyfriend picked me up. Now we're driving three and a half hours to Comic-Con. What? But we got Quest Nutrition. Yummy. And we drove to San Diego. We've been on three freeways. It keeps adding time because more people keep entering said freeways because everyone's going to Comic-Con. And we are stuck in traffic. I wish we were on that train. A lot of positivity. Car Coming out of right my face now. right now. <laughs> After a four hour drive, this should have been two and a half. Yep. Day two, hair and makeup started very early. I went down and I ran into the executives from Netflix, which was great. Then I went straight to a panel for Robot Chicken. Now, I've never been to Comic Con for Robot Chicken. For those of you that don't know, I play a character named Bitch Puddin. <laughs> Yeah, bitch pudding. She is the opposite of strawberry shortcake and her friends, use your imagination. <laughs> and it was so important for me to be able to see Matt and Tom and Brecken and Donald Faison. These are people that write for the show and play characters on the show and I have worked with them for many years now. There was a moment when I was explaining on stage how I play Bitch Puddin' and I realized that I showed my entire ass to the audience. And then she screamed, she's like, <laughs> Camera. Yeah, I did that. My butt. It's okay. My parents are so proud. <laughs> I did show my ass in the panel. Oh well, it is robot chicken. Then I went right to a charitable signing to raise money for the Alinker, which was a charity that Selma Blair picked out herself. Selma is on another life with me. Selma has MS. She's been very vocal about that. And the Alinker is a mobility device that has given her more freedom. So it was very important for me to honor Selma. And it was one part of a signing that we did and we raised $10,000 for the Alinker, which was awesome. We made $1,200 in one hour for a linker. Race back to the Hilton where I was staying and changed. I am on my way to judge 
a cosplay competition. And if you don't know what cosplay is, it's the lingo for costume play. And went straight to the costume contest where I judged a Rick and Morty costume contest. Katie, I believe you get first. I like number 14. Congratulations. Right. I like it. I like your style. I wish you would have shaved. Not shaved? No. Just take it one step for, oh. Oh, okay. hello. Oh, oh, oh. hello. I've never watched Rick and Morty. I have no idea. I learned so much at this event. I realized that there is a character named Pickle Rick. There is a pickle shaped like a dick, and it's a character. I don't even know what that is. It's not a pickle that's shaped like a dick. <laughs> it's is. just a pickle. But he's shaped dead. like a dick. Yeah, well, all pickles are shaped like dicks. Exactly. Probably. It's a pickle that's shaped like a dick. <laughs> His name is Pickled Rick, like Pickle Dick, baby. That's <laughs> the whole point. I believe the character from Rick and Morty was named Pickle Rick because pickles look like dicks. Uh, <laughs> you need to watch the freaking show. I was gifted a beautiful little water bottle by Cartoon Network and Adult Swim. And on my Adult Swim water bottle are all the characters from Adult Swim. Let's see if Pickle Dick is on here. No, no. There's no pickle dick on here, but there's the chicken from Robot Chicken, and I think this guy's from Rick and Morty. I don't even know. But anyway, so this is my new water bottle. It's my favorite water bottle ever. Thank you, Adult Swim. My boyfriend wants this because he's a big Rick and Morty fan. That's Rick. <laughs> oh, I guess that's Rick. That's not the pickle dick. <laughs> so anyway. This is now my water bottle, which is a hot commodity in the Gatsby Sackoff household. Moving on. Then I went and I changed again. My last panel and then we's driving back to Los Angeles to get a few hours of sleep and then heading to Wyoming. Wow. We're on trip forced some food down my mouth and went to a fan screening where we watched some episodes of Robot Chicken. The one and only Katie Sackhoff. <laughs> and a hat. Bitch <laughs> put. How do you feel about being a part of this uncomfortable larger universe? I honestly, I mean, when I first went in and did it, I never thought that it would be, <laughs> that I'd be here, like 10 years later, something like, I think it's like eight years later, she's, something she's like now that. eight. Yeah. 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 So, so it's, I didn't think that people would like dress up like her and it's pretty amazing. All right guys, I got a running catch up plane. Bye. Thank you so much. As soon as that was done. Now, we are getting our clothes really quick. I'm gonna change put on pants, and we are literally driving to Los Angeles as fast as we can. What time is it? It is, it's 10.14, which is totally fine. We were supposed to be wheels up in one minute, but we'll be wheels up in seven. Go, go, go. Grab bags, pee, change pants, get the out of here. What okay. if I just film the whole time and let you do everything? <laughs> literally stab you. And we drove all the way back to Los Angeles. The good news about leaving San Diego at 11 p.m. is that it really only takes you just under two hours to get back to Los Angeles. So I was in bed and asleep by 2 a.m., which was great because we woke up at 4.30. I'm tired. Um, I love conventions, I really do. Um, I love to interact with the fans, but I always try and make sure that I give every single person a little piece of me. It takes a lot of energy, and I wouldn't trade it for the world, but I'm tired. I'm tired, and I am going to go do it all over again for two more days. On day one, at Longmire Days, we went to the rodeo. <laughs> then we did a signing. Then 
honest with you guys, I have no idea what we did at Longmire Days. I don't remember the days of it. I just remember seeing a ton of fans, having a lot of fun, riding horses twice. I'm on a horse. I'm on a horse. Feeling like a cowboy. Not really. <laughs> guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a good driver. Don't you smack him in the butt, that's me. Oh, and I did a roller derby, which was awesome. So I'm at the derby. I think I'm skating, which I've done like four times in my entire life. So, so we'll see how this goes. They put me on roller skates, which I don't like to roller skate. I, I, this, I feel like this is gonna get ruined at all times. Plus, I had a Spartan race coming up and I was quite concerned that I was going to hurt myself. So they were nice enough to give me a spotter while I learned how to skate. The last time you saw me alone. And now I forget everything else. This was an absolute joy. The whole time it was so much fun. We've been married 40 years. Yay! That's awesome. How do you anyway, make it work? A lot of sex. <laughs> That is amazing. I was exhausted. I'm not gonna lie. I was very tired. I was almost delirious, to be honest. And then, on like day three, while we were at Longmire Days, the first review of my show came out. That was a fun one. <laughs> the reviews for the new show came out, and they are not very good. They're actually terrible. I'm proud of the work we all put in, and f the reviewers. So it was an emotional, long, stressful, fun, amazing weekend where I got to see a bunch of people that I love and that mean a lot to me, that I've worked with for many years, but I also got to spend time with the fans, which is the most important aspect of this whole weekend, was the money we raised for charity and spending time with you guys. So, long Mar days is over and i had the day off yesterday so i'm feeling well rested pushed our flight back because we were supposed to be on a 5 a.m flight and we're an hour away from the airport and i couldn't i just couldn't do it i have press tomorrow morning at 3 a.m so i wanted to give myself a full day off which was amazing and this whole thing has been just glorious and it's so nice to reconnect with everyone and to see the fans. This has just been amazing. I'm gonna give you guys a view of what our cabin looks like. Nothing like waking up every morning to this. It's not bad. I'm pretty blessed that the fans came out for all this. Now I can't wait to get home, sleep in my own bed. We should be in Denver by now, but we're not. We're stuck at the Gillette Airport. It's okay. I have to wake up at 3 a.m., so. Worst case scenario, there is a 10.30 flight out of Denver that gets me in at midnight and I shall get an hour and a half of sleep. It's okay. <sighs> but we got another flight. Almost home. So close. So close. We're home, we're home, we're home. 
It's a very long trip. I'm very sleepy. That's it. That's a wrap. I'm home. I'm in bed. I have my monkey. He's very happy. I have my other monkey. He's not very happy. We've gained one extra dog because we decided dog sitting the day we got back from this crazy trip was awesome. So now we're four dogs. We're out, completely outnumbered. I'm exhausted, but in all honesty, I wouldn't have traded one minute of it for the world. So I've got the best fans ever, and it was absolutely my pleasure to do this entire thing. And I can't wait to do it again next year because chances are it's going to be pretty much the same thing. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for coming along on this ride with me. If you haven't seen Battlestar Galactica, watch it. If you haven't seen Longmire, watch it. And Another Life is airing right now, so go watch that. And if you enjoyed what you saw here, you should subscribe. I can't say it. I never can say it. And now I just say it wrong all the time. But subscribe right here. And you can see more of my craziness. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> I thought you needed it. <laughs> I just want that. That's just the episode. Yes. Over and over and over again. <laughs> Different angles.